Hey, hey guys. guys! We're Falker, back with new looks. I'm Yesha. I'm Micah. I'm Katya. And I'm Athena. And, and we're, we're gonna, gonna show you DIY, DIY makeup looks. Okay, before we start, disclaimer that we are not trying to appropriate or misrepresent any culture. Each layer of makeup is supposed to symbolize parts of society that have been oppressed. If we in any way offend or misrepresent any culture or part of history, please comment how and we will work to fix our mistake. So, these are our faces of empowerment. Woo! Hi everyone! I will be creating a look called Opulence. I'm basing it around the history and influence of drag culture. This foundation is called Molly House, as the base of drag culture began in these safe spaces for mollies, or gay men, to dress and act feminine. They held celebrations and even had drag names. I'm gonna move on to my duo powder on top of the foundation. This powder does kind of the same thing as the foundation. If our foundation was Molly House, our duo powder would be gay bars. The lighter powder acts as a highlighter, much like gay bars only accentuated the femininity and outrageousness of Molly houses. Gay men had a private space to dance or get some bedroom magic. Next up is the eyeshadow. I will not be using the term shade because in the drag community, shade refers to a verbal insult meant to bring hilarity. We're going to use this really bright one as a first layer. This first layer is bright, just like the humor that diffused the Stonewall Riot that sparked the gay rights movement in 1969. This next color is a pink hue. I'm using it for the femininity that could not be expressed back in the Molly houses, gay bars, Broadway musicals, and circuits. There was a time people were thrown in jail or executed for participating in any of these events. This pink will dominate my eyeshadow because it's a powerful color and symbolizes the way the community remains proud of who they are despite all odds stacked against them. Last but not least is my lipstick. The deep eye-catching purple shows pride in the community. Despite its struggles, the drag community, and by extent the LGBT community, have spoken up about how they should be treated with the same rights and acceptance no matter how they identify. This could be because of shows and movies that have shown these communities in an empowering light, such as RuPaul's Drag Race and Paris is Burning, but I'm not sure. Comment below what you think about media's influence. Hello, this look will be focused on how dictators have used nationalism to mobilize people to fight for their causes in the 20th century, and how citizens fought against their government for freedom. This look will be called Revolution. So first of all, we put some concealer. We're gonna use this to symbolize how dictators hide their twisted agendas behind their flowery speeches. It is because of this concealing that people think what their leader is doing is right. Next, we're gonna put some eyeshadow and the color will be a deep, dark, reddish hue to symbolize the imposing and watchful stare of fascist leaders in the past. This color also represents nationalism, the more representative of revolutionary fervor of the two colors most present in all of the national flags, blue and red. The next step would be to put some highlighter. This was to say, whenever there was war, there were also people who stood up against fascism and became rays of hope for the oppressed. Lastly, we're going to put lip products in reddish hues to honor the people whose voices counter the harmful effects of revolution and help the world back into freedom. And here we are, the look of revolution. May this remind everyone that where there is fascism, people are more than capable of rising up against it. Concrete evidence of this, believe it or not, after the Berlin Wall fell, the world has been in one of the most peaceful eras in world history. My look will be based on the existing toxic rape culture in the Philippine society and how we as citizens can help eradicate it. This is called uproot. To start, let's put on the foundation first. We will need a thick layer of this to cover blemishes. Just like how humor is used in rape culture to make harmful statements appear like mere jokes. Okay, next is the eyeshadow. You can choose any color you want to put on your eyes. And if you hear people saying only those who are malandi or pokpok use bold colors, don't believe them. That's what rape culture has planted in their minds, but remember, even if a woman is very bold and sensual, it doesn't mean they're asking to be slut-shamed. Moving on, the third step is to put on some blush. For this look, we're going to aim for very pink cheeks. As pink as they get when we women experience shame and embarrassment after we've been blamed for things that aren't our fault. Rape culture wants us to believe that we play a part in our victimization, but keep in mind ladies, you are never to be blamed for being assaulted. And lastly, to finish the look is this pink shimmery lipstick. 
It is for every great person out there who choose to be strong and brave enough to speak against this harmful culture as well as contribute to the education of people about it. May all of you never stop using your voices to ensure the safety of every Filipino and to improve the state of our nation. Hey! The next clip is called Prominence, and it is inspired by the characteristics and influence of political dynasties in the Philippines. To start, let us put on some light coverage foundation, which is the deterioration of political competitiveness of political families, because they know that even with just a little effort and lack of qualifications, their family name will grant them the position anyway. And as a result, the competitiveness of our country's economy and political governance is also deteriorating. Next, we are going to use a concealer, which is the wealth, their personal, and the budget of their respective offices, which political families use to cover up their mistakes as well as to promote themselves. Moving on to contour in order to give shape to our faces, just like how political families manage to maintain their reign by controlling and shaping the laws, justice, and economy in the Philippines. After that is highlighter to add some shimmer to our look. Likewise, political families are always the ones who manage to take the spotlight during electoral campaigns due to their access to the most glamorous platforms like TV commercials and billboards. Finally, we're going to apply some mascara which will instantly open up our eyes and make us look more awake. This upcoming 2019 elections, these political families are trying to maintain their reign once again. They may have had their control over the Philippine government for a very long time until now. However, as a democratic country, we, the Filipino people, still has the power to promote and establish change. Therefore, let us help educate one another and think critically, because if we do not help change our country's governance, then who will? Hi! Thanks for watching our Faces of Empowerment. Make sure to speak up when you know something isn't right. And stand up for the rights of others. Leave a like or comment if you like this video. See ya! See ya!